What's up guys, it's SRC bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. This time it's Domination on the Map Village, and I know this is my second back-to-back -back Village map, but it's, uh, I thought it was a pretty good gameplay, a really close game, and as you guys know, I definitely like posting and playing the games that are really close. So on the Map Village here, when we start at the A Domination, I really don't have a great opening route yet, and so let me know if you guys have any ideas on what works out best for you. You know, sometimes I'll cap the A flag and run to B here just like this. Sometimes I'll skip A entirely and come over to B. Sometimes I'll skip B entirely and, and try and flank around all the way around. And uh, sometimes I'll go completely the other side of the map uh, and try and push that right corridor down to C uh, towards that manager intersection there. And uh, you'll see that guy that I just killed there, his clan tag is Poop and his name is Limes. And uh, that's another reason I kind of wanted to post this, is because this guy uh, was talking a lot of smack in the previous game. Thought he was a really great player. And uh, you'll see in this game, I think I kill him quite a few times. It's just kind of embarrassing for him uh, to just die over and over and over again. So I just thought I would uh, point that out, because I thought it was something that was kind of funny. Uh, but when we play this map, my general idea... You can see there's, uh, there's poop again. Uh, but my general strategy on this is to go and try and flip the spawn and get the C flag because I think that C and B is a much better combination than A and C. And, you know, it's one of those things where usually C has a pretty good fight, but I think that you generally have the better end of it when you're defending the C flag than if you're trying to push into it. You know, trying to push through to C uh, is kind of difficult, and I almost never do it uh, the way that these guys are approaching it here. I usually would come from the back way, uh, the way that I started here from the B Dom. I just think it's a lot easier to get into the C spawn area that way uh, than it is to try and push through that major intersection. I'm not exactly sure what people call that. I, I guess I call it the intersection, but there's probably a better word for it. Um, but the way I like to defend this is actually to go forward to where I'm pointing right now and just kind of, you know, get the cutoff point there. And, uh, you know, usually it seems to work pretty well. You can get a couple of kills. Um, by sitting here but it definitely doesn't seem like something that will last forever you know you see there I just get a little bit unlucky I think I probably should have prepared a little better for that gunfight but you know there's been times when I can sit there and hold them off the C domination and then there's times where I get one or two or three kills and then I die and just lose the gunfight um, and so you can see in this game I'm running the care package which is a perk that or a kill streak that I've had a lot of requests to use I guess there's not very many people that do use it, and we've talked about this before, but uh, the care package really is a pretty good kill streak, especially if um, you're basically, you know, having trouble getting a lot of kill streaks together throughout the game. Because the nice thing about the care package is only being a three kill streak with hardline, you can get it pretty often in the game, and so the odds are good that throughout the course of a game you're going to get at least one thing that's that's worthwhile or pretty good other than your typical Predator Missile Sentry Gun combo. So here you can see I got the AH-6 Overwatch. And the reason I came to where I am right now is I just wanted to have that Overwatch do some work. And you can see here I got, I think I'm probably into the five or six kills with it already. And so it looks like I'm just camping here, but really what I'm trying to do is just defend this main intersection with the AH-6 Overwatch because it really has a pretty good range on it. And by kind of sitting in the middle there, you know, it can do some work for you. And you can see here, I just totally missed that guy that jumped down right below me. Didn't even think that somebody would be doing that. I saw the two guys on the mini-map. I thought they were going to come around, but they, they went up top instead. So that was just a mistake. And you'll see throughout this game, I do make really several mistakes. Uh, but, you know, I just think that's part of the game. I'm not, uh, you know, a beast player. I never claim to be, you know, that outrageous. So there's, uh, there's our buddy Poop again, who's getting killed. I think that's probably the third or fourth time at least. I didn't really keep count, but, uh, you know, he definitely, I was definitely his nemesis in this game, and I just thought it was pretty funny every time I saw that. And so you can see here now I'm trying to push up to A and, again, make the mistake of not looking back to that hill. I'm not sure why. Obviously, it's a pretty common area for people to be, and, you know, not a mistake I would usually make too often, but for whatever reason I thought I checked it, I guess I didn't. You know, usually I, uh, you know, listen to the sound in my headset a lot, and so I can kind of tell where people are just from the sound of the game. And I didn't hear anything there. I kind of glanced out of the corner of my eye, and I didn't see him. And there I just get caught with somebody who's flanking around behind us. 
And, you know, that happens. That, to me, I, is just one of those things that you can't control a whole lot. Um, you know, and so, in this game, it might look, you know, I, I've gotten a lot of crap, and I'm sure everybody that posts YouTube videos does for camping or, you know, playing defensive. And there's our, our buddy Poop again. But, really, when I play Domination, kind of my goal is to just hold the point where the enemy is going to come to. So, you know, right now I see they're trying to push around uh, behind B. They've got B, they're trying to hold B, and so they're pushing through here. And, you know, so my goal is to just kind of defend C, knowing that they're pushing the fight to us. And so staying back here just makes some sense. Now, notice that enemy care package right there. It's uh, sitting right on the ground there. Our whole team's running around. There's no more enemies around here anymore. We've captured the B domination. Do you think that's a real care package? I mean, let's be honest. Like, how long has this game been out now? It's been out for weeks. Several weeks, actually. And, you know, I think by now you probably should have learned that when there's a, a care package in your spawn near the flag that you own, it's probably not real. I just don't understand how people don't get the concept Whatever. of this. But, you know, it's still sitting there. No, no big deal. So I'm assuming that now that my entire team has walked by this thing a couple of times, that they've kind of... You know, I'm not playing with idiots, maybe. Maybe they realize that it's not a real care package. So I come up to it, and I'm like, oh, it's an AC-130. Yeah, that's definitely booby-trapped. Guess what? People don't leave AC-130s on the ground and not come back for them. I mean, if I drop a care package that has an AC-130 in it, I'm absolutely going to push, push, push to get that thing, even if it means I die five times, just to get that thing. And, oh, there's my teammate who decides to get the care package. Nice work, buddy. <laughs> that just is so unbelievable. It's like, I, I, I'm at a loss for words for it, really. I am. You guys, don't pick up care packages from the enemy. Unless you specifically saw the guy and it was in their spawn, in a safe place. You see him trying to capture it. And you know what? Most likely, if it's a really high kill streak, it's not real. Like, that's, that's just the case. The booby traps don't have predator missiles. They don't have sentry guns. You know, that kind of stuff is okay. And if you're going to do it, don't do it when your teammates are near you. The dumbest thing you can do is blow up your teammates with stuff like that. If you want to take the gamble, roll the dice, you're a gambling man, you want to try and get that care package, man, do it on your own. Don't be killing your teammates with it. That's just so stupid. Well, so there's my rant on care packages again. Uh, but, you know, here you can see we're leading the game, but we're double, double capped at the moment, so we've got to make something happen. But it seems like in this game, when that happens, the enemy really just pushes around. And, you know, they, they figure we're going to go for B, so then they kind of push the action to us. And a lot of times in this game, the enemy has been pushing us pretty far. You know, some games, I do the rushing, pushing into their spawn, capping two flags and pushing to them back. And, and this is a map where you can really spawn trap on A. And I think that might play into the fact that they know that, and they're trying to avoid that. But they really do push the C flag quite a bit and that's the one that I really wanted to keep so you can see I do spend a lot of my time just defending that and you know to me if you know the enemy's coming there's no there's no point in running away and trying to push a different area and there's no point in trying to push forward if there's no end to it I mean I'm not going to go cap A so if I come out and push out of here what does that really achieve when I could be set up guaranteeing calling out to my teammates letting them know what's going on at the C domination and so here now I've uh, built up my kill streak. I've got the Predator Missile here, um, and then I do have the Reaper on deck here. And this is actually pretty good on this map. I don't do very well with it here for some reason. I just, there were so many people spread out, I just kind of got a little bit kind of just over-anxious and was like, oh, I can get a triple kill there, and, and then I just didn't really realize where they were going to be. So it took me a little, a little bit to get my bearings and find those guys. I thought that I saw another enemy there, but I guess it must have been a teammate. And uh, see, so, you know... This, uh, the Reaper kill streak is really one of my favorites. It's just a lot of fun to use. I don't think it does great on this map. Uh, or I shouldn't say on this map, but just overall, there's a lot of maps that have bad angles and bad line of sights. Uh, but this is not one of them. This is one that's actually pretty good on. And you can see there the last shot I killed myself. I was uh, parked right behind the C flag. I saw an enemy coming. I knew I was going to kill myself, but I figured I'd better off just getting the kill and saving the, the flag than I would be to uh, try and you try and live. And he probably would have killed me anyway if, uh, you know, when he walked around that corner, he probably would have seen me, so uh, no big deal. And so now the game's uh, winding down here. It's uh, still a pretty close game. We're only up by a little bit. And so really what I want to do is 
uh, just hold these two flags. My friend just called in his uh, escort airdrop right on the C flag, and then we end up losing it. So it's bad for a couple of reasons. You know, one, the game's really close, and now we're two capped. And so we need to get that back. And then B, we've got all this stuff on the ground here that we want to pick up. So what I wanted to do is just sit back here and defend that stuff. And then I realized that, you know, this maybe I shouldn't do that. I should come over here. And then I get shot in the back. So it seems like every time I make a decision to play defensively and I wait. And, you know, my instincts are telling me that I'm in a good spot. I'm going to get a, a few kills. And then, you know, I double think it and question myself and then I run out and then it gets me killed. So just a, a poor piece of shooting there or a bunch of hit markers. I'm not sure why I didn't kill that guy right away, but, you know, that stuff happens. And then, uh, the, then the enemy team picks up the booby-trapped care package. And again, that just goes back to our whole team was here. We picked up all the stuff from the airdrop. There's one crate left. What do you think it's going to be? <laughs> and so then he goes and kills three three people with it. Just uh, amazing. Amazing. So um, let me know what you guys think um, about the care packages. Do you, do you run into people using the booby trap care packages? Is that something that you guys actually go and pick up yourself? And uh, why do you do that? And look at this. My goodness. I had to watch this back in the kill cam. He, so he runs around the corner, jumps, and quick scopes me to end the game. Unbelievable. So I finish up this game here, 44 and 11, using the care package, attack helicopter, and reaper combo. And uh, so I hope you guys appreciated this. Uh, give it a like if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the game. Thanks a lot.